Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited because I wanna show you my smallest, I think, grocery haul <laughs> since I started this channel. So my weekly grocery budget is $180 to feed my family of five healthy meals under budget. And when I say $180, I know I budget for the week, but as I've mentioned before, I actually try to stretch my groceries for eight, nine, and 10 days one time it was two weeks, but I was, I was only able to do that one time. <laughs> but by stretching my groceries and giving myself those extra days, even though I'm budgeting for the week at $180, I'm actually able to stretch my groceries even more. So at the end of the month, I see such big savings. But this time I actually saw savings from the beginning because I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but my New Year's goal this year fingers crossed, is instead of doing $180 a week, I want to try to do $150 a week and challenge myself even more by trying to get a stockpile both in my freezer and in my pantry of items that I can use to supplement on the weeks that things might seem a little tight because I really want to see if I can take an extra $30 a week and throw it at our retirement funds because that's where we are now in our financial journey and I am so excited to start this year off right looking into the future. So anyway, let me show you what I got and I'll go over my meal plan as well as how much the groceries cost me. Let's go. So from Walmart, I got these bananas and I'm glad they're a little green that way it'll last a little longer. I had asked for 15 and obviously I didn't get that, but I'll take what I can get. I was running really low on my sugar, so I got a big bag. That'll last me a few weeks. It's just for my coffee. We were running low on Alka-Seltzer, so I got one package. Ketchup, I might as well buy stock in it and we we're completely out. So I got one for the refrigerator and one for my small little stockpile because they were actually on sale. So took advantage of that savings. I got a big box of Cheerios for Emily. They didn't have my tea. I've never had this one before. I usually have the one with the chamomile, so I'm gonna give it a try. And along with tea, I have my honey. And I got the big bottle of honey and it's 32 ounces. And this thing is $7, but it lasts me for like two weeks. Brian asked me for a different snack. He didn't want his mozzarella sticks, so instead he asked me for some raisins. And this was only $1.25, and it's a whole pound of um, raisins, so I was like, yeah, why not? As far as snacks go, Emily, my husband and I, we love these, and I picked up two. For some reason, two of these was a lot less expensive than the 16 pack, so I'm like, all right, sounds good to me, so I got two. Jesse loves these bars, so I got one package for her. Brian asked me for something else. He asked me for some goldfish crackers, and this big one was $7, but it better last him, or I'll, yeah, I'm not getting it again. <laughs> for Emily, she wanted her chocolate bears, so I got one for her. I have enough meat in the freezer, but this was actually on sale. It's usually $8, and it was down to 5 and it's pretty big. It's 3 pounds, so I thought, you know what? I can either portion it out and put it in the freezer, or just stick it in the freezer and just make sure I use it in the next few weeks. This was a real weird substitution, but I all, all I wanted were some taco shells, and for some reason, they substituted the taco mix. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, <laughs> so that'll go in my pantry. For my salads, I was out of black olives, so I picked up one. We need twine to tie up the boxes for recycling, so I got one of those. Picked up some sour cream. I'm gonna make some tacos this week. For my coffee, I got the whipping cream. And then my latest treat, which I'm really loving, is just a little bit of fresh whipped cream on top. Well, not fresh, canned, you know what I mean. And um, they didn't have the 18 pack of eggs, which I normally get. So when I got notified that they didn't, they allowed me to substitute it out. So I just got the two packs of 12. We were completely out of milk. So I'm so glad I got this today. I got two gallons of whole milk. I got one small bottle of Thai detergent. We were at a toilet bowl cleaner, so I picked one up. And I love using vinegar as a cleaning agent, and so I picked up this big bottle because I was running low. This thing is what, uh, 64 ounces. And the last thing is I asked for whole wheat bread and they didn't have it, I guess. So they gave me two packages of the whole grain bread. Bread, can't talk. <laughs> and when I went into my order, they only charged me for one. So I guess I got one for free. I don't know why, but thanks Walmart. So this is like the smallest haul ever, but this is everything that I got at Walmart. 
I told you that's the smallest grocery haul I've ever done, right? <laughs> so obviously I didn't spend $180. In fact, I was able to shop my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry and come up with a week's worth of meals, practically not even touching those ingredients, just a little bit. So that grocery haul only cost me $104.62, which means that this first grocery haul of the year, I've already saved $75.38, so boop. <laughs> That's my first savings of the year. I'm gonna keep this number growing and let's see how much I can save just by being frugal and using up what I have on hand and then grocery shopping for the rest. So. Let's see how much I can save by the end of the year. I am so excited, especially coming up with that much of a head start. And again, I'm going to try with every grocery haul to be able to add more to my stockpile in my freezer and in my pantry. So when I have weeks where I really have to stretch it a little bit in order to stay under budget, I can definitely do it with what I have on hand. So from this week, I have my binder here. I am making chicken noodle soup. I'm making breaded chicken with spaghetti squash, steak with fried rice and broccoli, my egg tortillas, which are really just items that you have in your pantry, plus some eggs and a splash of milk, my butternut squash, and I'm gonna try to make biscuits. I did it once before and my family loved it. I haven't done it again. I have to find that recipe. I think I put it on Pinterest. And so hopefully it comes out good as it did the first time. Some tacos and a day for leftovers. So those are the meals I have planned for dinners for the week. And let's see how long I can make those groceries stretch. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.